Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about maybe starting a book club type thing. I'll explain a little bit more in a minute. Also, it's like super hot in here. I'm dying. Okay. So if you are new to my channel, my name's Katie, and basically what I like to talk about is charities and social issues. Basically, that's the core of it, and then obviously you can look around my channel and get a little bit more details. And lately, I've been really into reading, basically like this year. So last year in 2020, I had set a goal for myself on Goodreads to read 20 books during the year, and I like didn't even come close. I think I read like eight books. And this year, I've already read like 18. So I decided what I'm going to try to do is try to read books that are on topic for the month. So earlier this year, I had read a lot of like Black Lives Matter type books and movement and just trying to educate myself on that topic and that movement. And of course, I'm going to keep doing that throughout. I'm not just going to be done just because it's not like cool or whatever. But what I'm going to do is read books that if there's an awareness month. So basically June is LGBTQ awareness month. So I'm going to focus on reading books that fit within that category. And then if I have time or you know, I feel like just reading something else that's not necessarily in that category, that's okay. But I am going to try to do a video at the beginning of each month saying like what books in that category I'm hoping to read and then a video at the end of the month saying what books I did read in that category and what I thought about them. So I have been ordering and also downloading a lot of books on my iPad where I have the Kindle app. And basically, not all of my books are going to be like hard copy, so I won't always be able to do like a cool thumbnail picture with my books. Honestly, like I cheated on this picture. So the ones where the titles are facing you, those are actual books. But the ones where the titles are facing away from you, those are books that I just used just to like make it look like I had more because a lot of the books are actually in digital form. Additionally, a lot of the books haven't arrived in the mail yet. And by the time I am making this video, I actually have already read a couple of these books, but we're just going to ignore that. So the first book I have is The House in the Carillion Sea. I really don't know if I'm saying that right, but I know that's a color of a crayon, a Crayola crayon that I used to really like when I was younger. So yeah. So this book, well, I did, this is one that I already read. Um, so I won't, give the details on it until I do my end of the month wrap up. But basically this is kind of a fiction book. It's kind of an allegory using magical characters, magical creatures, like gnomes and things like that as kind of an allegory about how we treat people we don't understand or we don't know. And then there's also a relationship that's going on within the book as well. So that's this book, this is fiction. A lot of the books I like to read tend to be not fiction but I'm trying to incorporate a little bit more fiction into my reading. This I just got in the mail yesterday. It's called Unapologetic, a Black, Queer, and Feminist Mandate for Radical Movements. So there's also gonna be some books that can kind of fit in multiple categories. So like this fits the LGBTQ, but it could also fit like Black History Month and things like that. So we are just gonna do this one. We're gonna try to do this one for this month. This is one that I saw on the list, and obviously you guys don't have to go buy my books. You could, like, you know, just Google your own lists of LGBTQ authors or topics or main characters where the character is LGBTQ, but this is called The Deviant War. This is actually a true story. It's called The Homosexual versus the United States of America. So basically in the 1950s, there was a government employee who basically the United States government like found out he was gay and fired him because of it. <laughs> That's basically all it kind of boils down to as I read the back of this. So I am super interested to read this because it just shows how much has changed in really not so long of a time because the 1950s weren't like that long ago. Okay, on my Kindle, and I'll just probably just show the, uh, I don't know if I can show you the, ah. All right, so I'll probably just like put a screenshot of the book up on the screen because I don't have the actual book to like show you. But on my Kindle, I have The Black Flamingo. So this is kind of like a poem. It's kind of um, written in a prose and I already read it. So I guess I don't want to leave, leave a big review of it, but it's about a coming of age story about a black male who realized he was gay and just kind of what he had to go through. I will say that there is one kind of like descriptive scene, I guess, if it's even that. I mean, there's like really no detail, but like, you know what happened. So anyway, just wanted to give a heads up on that one. So I have another downloaded that's called Darius the Great is Not Okay. I believe this one is a Palestinian 
child who is gay and just kind of navigating all of that. And this is actually something that's really interesting to me to read because of the conflict with Israel and Palestine. I had actually purchased and downloaded a ton of books on the Israeli Israeli-Palestinian conflict and I was hoping to read a bunch of those which I'll, I will read a bunch of those but that's great because it kind of like goes in both categories that I'm currently super interested in. This is another fiction one like I've said I'm trying to incorporate more fiction so this one is called Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe and from what I understand it's just kind of like a coming-of-age story of kids just kind of learning who they are and their identity and navigating all of that. It did win a bunch of awards. Stonewall Book Award, Pura Belpre Award, Lambda Literary Award. Actually, this one I can show you the title of. So this one is called You Exist Too Much. And I think it's a narrative kind of, it's kind of told like fiction, but it, I think it's like actually an autobiography of this woman. And this woman actually is also Palestinian American and going through an identity crisis, you know, trying to figure out who she is and where she fits into the world. So I'm looking forward to this one as well, because again, this also includes the Palestinian conflict and point of view. So that will be like double educational, I guess, is how I think about it. Wow, I think I went like super overboard on trying to include like fictional type of books and I've included like a lot of those. But anyway, the other one, which I don't have in the mail yet, but it's called Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda. It's a young adult book, I believe, and it has good reviews and and I personally like reading young adult books sometimes just because they're a lot easier to digest. Like when it's a really heavy factual book, like it takes you longer to read a page, but the young adult books, you can just kind of like blow through them. I literally, I read this in a day. Well, obviously I didn't even spend like the entire day reading it. Um, so I really enjoy kind of getting some of those perspectives sometimes and just kind of be able, being able to sit down and finish a book and feel like I accomplished something. Whereas something like this, I'm probably going to have to spend a lot more time reading it. So that's kind of why I've tr I'm trying to include a lot more like fiction and fiction tends to be in the young adult category. So that's another one that I'm going to be looking at or reading or hoping to read. And then it looks like I've got two more. So this one is actually like an actual factual book, nonfiction, that's what it's called. And it's called Queer Injustice and just the criminalization of LGBTQ people in the United States. That's pretty much the description. Thought it sounded interesting, so I purchased it. That is not one that I have read yet. It actually hasn't even come in the mail yet. And the last one is also nonfiction. It's called Stonewall. It says the definitive story of the LGBTQ rights uprising that changed America. Hi guys, just coming on here to say I forgot, well actually like I didn't forget, but Jodi Picoult or Pico or however you say her name, um, she's most famous for writing My Sister's Keeper. Anyway, she's my favorite author and she writes books about essentially a lot of controversial topics or at least that's what her books have been recently. And she does have one about LGBTQ which is called Sing You Home. It's not my favorite of her books, but it is something that I just want to throw in there to recommend because I really love her as an author and she covers the topic and pretty much anytime she covers a topic she does it like pretty well and pretty tactfully in my opinion so I think that should be added to your reading list. Now I'm hoping to get to all these books and then being able to review them all for you but I mean it is a lot it is a lot of reading I will say that the young adult books I am most likely going to be able to get through those pretty quickly this one is like one that I really super want to read so I'm almost definitely gonna read this one and then I had the two nonfiction ones Queer Injustice and Stonewall Queer Injustice sounds a little bit more interesting to me just for the criminalization perspective, um, but hopefully I'll be able to get through all of them. And then I hope to do this each month for like an awareness month. Um, I think probably at the end of the month, I think probably at the end of the month when I'm doing the review on the books I read, I will announce like the theme for the next month. And then I'll do another video showing the books for the next month. I think that might work for me. So hopefully, you guys are interested in following along but that's my book list for this month for June and I wanted to get this video out like towards the beginning of the month even though I don't have them all in and I can't like take a picture with all of them to do it with some of them 
So hopefully you enjoy this. If you have any other book suggestions, let me know. I probably won't get to it like within the month, but I can always add it to my list. My list of like my books wish list on Amazon is insanely long. And on my Goodreads, the list of books that I like want to read is insanely long. So I'm always looking and always adding and hoping to just learn more about different topics and educate myself.